more power rangers with flip heads hello flip heads doesn't smell very pumpkinish to me is that a pumpkin yeah anyway. hello and welcome back to my shed good to see you i thought i would just pick up the camera and have a bit of a a waffly chat <laughs> um yeah all sorts going on um this is my temporary little photo bay here um i've been saying for ages um months and months and months that i'm going to sort out this space to have a photo bay in here and i've just been well this is another project this is for inside the house these little bits of channeling i've been building and painting to box in a load of pipe work in our bedroom that's ongoing stuff but yeah point is this is temporary <laughs> this is normally where i'm packing um, but i was doing a whole load of photography last night but that worked really well with these two lights um yeah box of stuff i've just finished um listing I need to find homes for oh the vinyl you may have seen I picked up a, a box of vinyl at the jumble sale um really really great pickup it was uh first couple have sold uh high elaine if you're watching so the saxon and elton john are going off to elaine so the first of those final records heading out of the door so yes welcome how are you all anyway um i'm good uh it has now stopped raining today which is nice um that's good actually because ideally if I can find time I want to do some more painting on the windows on the front of the house uh, but for now it's a case of finding homes for all this newly listed stock well actually I need to do pictures for that that's been drafted that's a nerf gun target I've got a load of nerf but I've, I've pulled this um, out from the bundle to sell separately i find they sell quite well for me um but yeah the rest of this is all listed um i did these paddle lane books in three bundles in the end um a big bundle of stage one the blue ones you can't see <coughs> these um they went on at 25 then I did a small bundle of the green ones and one duplicated blue at 15. And these pink ones, which are stage four and one random orange I had at 15 as well. Um, so those are going on. Um, I'm struggling for space a little bit in here now. Uh, I have been pushing the listing and stuff has been, yeah, we're getting through it. Uh, we are selling a fair bit now. Funnily enough, when you list a lot, you sell a lot. Um, but I am struggling for space. Do you like my little Power Rangers doing the poses? I think actually, sorry, I'm going to move these. Sorry guys, just to get out of the way. Um, yeah, let's just plonk these up there out of the way. What else have we got listed? Oh yeah, I did all the DS games. Uh, I picked up uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, this, which actually I need to do pictures for, this is now drafted. I was surprised at what GBASP's bog standard silver ones are going for. Um, I think I've drafted this at 60 pounds, or was it? I think it was 60. They've been selling for that. This one isn't perfect. It's a little bit scratched. But ones in this condition and worse have been selling up to that. So that's what I'm going to aim for. Isn't that crazy? When we had our high street gaming store, what were we selling these for? I think we were selling these for about £30 or something. And we used to have stacks of them. You know, and we'd have all the different... The, the, ones, the tribal one was really common. We used to get that a lot with like, looks like a tattoo on it. And we'd have blue ones, blue ones are quite common, all the different colours and special editions. But yeah, amazing what they're going for. Anyway, that's drafted, I just need to do the pictures. The rest of this in here is all done. In fact, that sold straight away for £17. That 
was in the SP when I bought it. I paid four pounds for the SP and that, and a stack of DS games, which have nothing to do with the Game Boy Advance SP, but they came with it as part of the four pounds. It was an insane deal. That is now listed at 80 pounds. Eight zero. It's insanity. Um, but that's the top end of what they sell for. And that is really nice condition. It's got all of its inserts and everything. Um, the rest of it, there wasn't much value in most of it. A couple of Ben 10 games have gone on for very little. Likewise, I, I bundled up two Jewel Quest games. Tetris Party is only worth about six or seven quid. Dragon Quest is okay. I think that's gone on at 13. And Professor Layton. Uh, Pandora's box which I think was the second one is on for about six pounds but anyway point is I got them all listed nice and quick so that's good let's just sit those up there for now yeah it'll be interesting to see if that Pokemon uh, mystery dungeon sells for the full asking price or whether I have to take an offer so yes that already sold that was listed last night and sold last night um I might pick a few orders because I do, I think I have two or three orders that need to go out today. The rest can go tomorrow, but I'll probably do it all today. Um, also, I listed last night some cassettes. This ABBA one isn't anything special. It's on for about a fiver. Genesis, uh, it's a hits album. Turn it on again, the hits. Uh, I think that's on for eight or nine pounds as is Pet Shop Boys. So cassette prices seem to be doing quite well if you've got the right stuff. Bucks Fizz, not so much. <laughs> but anyway, they're all listed. We will pop those up there, I think, out of the way. And yes, yeah, some plush. Uh, this Adventure Time guy had no real value. I think he's on for a tenner, as with the 1989 Disney uh, is he a goof? Is he goofy? He's goofy. I was going to call him Pluto then, but no, that's goofy. And this turtle I showed recently, I think this was 1989. Again, Playmates plush. It's really quite battered. It's quite worn. There you go. So I ended up doing him at, what did I go for? £16 or something like that. Uh, and I think I put offers on. Um because there's other ones listed in, in better condition. Um, so I might struggle a bit because of the condition on him, but he's a cool item. We'll perch him there next to a jelly cat. And then I'm gonna have fun when I come to getting uh, DVDs out from in here now. And this guy, uh, Finn, I believe that is. Uh, in there. Oh, something else I drafted last night was this sharp camcorder. This is a view cam. Um, this was an interesting one. When I bought it, um, we went to a, a yard sale at a house and it was the daughter and her brothers, I think, at their parents house and sadly they'd lost both of their parents over the previous year and they were working through the process of clearing the house so there was a yard sale event in their village and they kind of had an open house thing and they were selling off the furniture and all sorts of other stuff so we went and we bought a bunch of stuff and I, I saw this and I said to them how much would you like for it and they said well we're trying to get it working because there's a load of tapes in there and we want to see what's on the tapes before we sell it. So I, I've had a fair amount of experience with these things um, and I messed about with it and managed to get the battery charging. And I said, look, that should charge the battery for you now because the battery was dead, so it wouldn't play the tapes. Uh, they said, okay, we'll come back later and once we've had a look at the tapes and we know what we want to keep, etc., we'll sell it to you. So anyway, we went away. We went around the yard sale. We went back an hour or two later. And um, they were there watching. 
the tapes and they were so happy they'd found all this footage of their parents and old birthdays and Christmases, all that stuff. So they said, we're still happy to sell the machine. We're going to send these tapes off to somewhere and get them converted to DVD or whatever. Um, and then they said, give us a tenner for the machine. And I said, sure, why not? So that's what happened. Um, so I now have a Sharp VLAH131 Hi8 chunky camcorder. They go for the top end of about £70. I think that's what I've drafted it for. Uh, it has a nice carry bag and a few accessories and bits and bobs. But I need to do some pictures on that one. Um, yeah, but shall we grab a few orders while I chat with you? Because I think I'm going to, oh, tripping over my feet. God, yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll pick a few bits and bobs. Let's see what's sold. 21 things. Oh, and there's an Etsy order. Plus, I've got to ship those records to Elaine. Um, oh, we've just had an order in of something I listed last night which is still in the living room. It's a stack of books, kids' books. Well, six. It's a set of The School for Good and Evil. Um, bought them at a yard sale, was, it, was that last week? Recently. Uh, paid two pounds, I think, and they've sold for 20, so that's not bad. Um, right, let's have a look. Let's find some stuff. Right, finally sold some Dick Francis books. Going on GSP. They went for £25, and these came from a place that was clearing books at 20p. They're, they're right in here. You see those hardbacks? Whoop. That's what they're like. Sort of folio books. A set of Dick Francis. I think there's ten of them. They've been on a while and they finally got picked off at 25. Um, so that's nice. A little bit of space back on my shelf. We've sold a Stratego, 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 one of them board games. Um, let's grab that. A load of the jewellery is going out. I uh, don't know if we want to pick that. I've done that so many times on camera. Um, let's grab the Stratego, or Stratego. Uh, so some DVDs, some of the round labels, that's good. Oh, excellent. The first bundle of Dilly Court books. A bundle of 12 has gone for 24. Oh, and a Braun coffee grinder that was only listed last night or the night before it's gone. Right, let's do that then. So, Dilly Court 12 book bundle, Stratego, and the Braun. Right, now, oh, is that here? Yes, it is. So, this coffee grinder, I've sold this very one a few times. Um, sold pretty much instantly for £15 plus post, and that was a pound. Uh, this is Stratego. That stack has sold so quick. Right. That one. Uh, it wasn't on for much. 13, was it? Something like that. Uh, what was the other thing? What's it? Ah, oh, Dilly Court books. Now then. At a car boot sale, a lady had a fruit tray full of these Dilly Court books. Let me show you. Dilly Court, that's the author. Um, and I split them into, I think, three bundles. And this one, I think, is the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's all of those. I'm going to leave them up there for now. But yeah, that first bundle has gone for £24. Good stuff. So it's a bit of a book day today. So that's three book bundles going out. Uh, we've sold some CDs. Um, a couple that I listed only 
the other night has gone. 100 hits, peace and love, five CD set. It's going out along with another 100 hits. These were bought at the local yard sale. Um, two weekends ago now, is it? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, lots of jewellery. Right, let's pick a couple of Andrea's bits. Antique green onyx Leighton brass amphora budva. Oh, blimey. What? These things. <laughs> Two of them. Rather dinky. What did they go for? Uh, they went on offer at £15 plus postage for the pair. And then Mason Cash White Pudding Basins times three. Huh. Oh, yeah. These. These are from a big auction lot we got for two pounds. Bought a fruit crate full of random ceramics. And Andrea's just clearing through it. Um, so they owe us virtually nothing and they went for £10 plus post. Out the door, gone. Um, oh, we sold some Builder Bear. Let's grab those. Oh, somebody's bought two of the same scent. Pumpkin or pumpkin pie. Which are these orange ones at the end here. So they went, was it an offer? uh possibly uh 15 pounds for the pair so that's those doesn't smell very pumpkinish to me is that a pumpkin yeah anyway. uh more cds that i listed uh only the other night alice in wonderland wonderland soundtrack uh Almost Alice and a Tom Waits album, both sold immediately. More of the jewellery. Uh, there's that super mo. I'm just telling you, and you can't even see this stuff. Um, oh, interesting item, something a bit different. Uh, 1985 Canada National Parks. Um, it's a commemorative, like silver dollar thing. It's a coin. Um, so. This is rammed. You may have seen on TikTok, because I am on TikTok. You can find me over there if you search Nick Hill's reseller, I'll probably come up. I did a video about um, this poor Bing Bunny suffocating in a bag. Yeah. Um, so somewhere in here, this is all well, most of this stuff is recently listed. More Power Rangers with flip heads. Hello. Flip heads. Um, yeah. But what I'm looking for is that. See, a little commemorative coin in a little thingy uh, sold. Wasn't worth much. Uh, I think it's gone out the door at £10. Was it 10 Yeah. Uh, we sold some cassettes, we've sold um, more jewellery. Yeah, it's, it's a good day for jewellery and books. <laughs> okay, I'm going to um, come back to you in a bit. I'm going to pick the rest of this and start packaging because I need to get a move on if I want to get all this to the post office today. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> So yes, I will see you in a bit. It's a little bit later now. I've done a lot of the packaging. Uh, just had a couple more orders come in. Um, I'm pleased with this. I listed two lots of Guitar Hero software. Both lots are here. Um, I bought these at a yard sale event. They were 50p each and I bought a bunch of other stuff and then we got a deal on everything. So they owe me three or four pounds. I split them into two. Um, these do sell quite well individually, but I, I find it's, you get a quicker sale and it works out easier and quicker to just do little bundles. So I did Metallica, Van Halen, 
and Aerosmith together as a bundle for 20 plus post. And then the rest, which aren't quite as sought after. So there's a Band Hero, then there's World Tour. These are all Xbox 360. Uh, Warriors of Rock and five. I did that bundle at 20. Um, I think I did free shipping on that. It's not quite as much demand and it just worked out worked out right on the numbers but this one 20 plus shipping and that one got picked off super fast so I've just thrown one on the floor anyway that's that so happy to get a nice quick sale on that and I mentioned before there was a, a set of books uh, the school for good and evil well I've, I've got them here now thought I'd quickly show you what they are um, yeah I think they're like kids novels and this is a set of six um most of them look unread i think they maybe were gifted as a set and then maybe they didn't get into it because i don't think most have been even read at all um yeah so paid a couple of pounds flipped them for 20 nice and quick so those are going out today do you want to know what i'm listening to today uh i've got spotify on and this is Lana Del Rey's Chemtrails Over the Country Club album, which I absolutely adore. There's a track on that album called Yosemite, which I'm just addicted to. Can't stop listening to it. We have also had an Etsy sale. I thought I'd quickly share that before I package it. It is this rather delicate, rather beautiful cake stand with these flowers on it. So that's gone on Etsy. Oh, can you hear Jeff? He's running around in the yard barking. Um, so yeah, Etsy's doing okay. It is a slow and steady trickle. Um, Andrea cross lists her vintage ceramics and homeware stuff on there. I've been saying for years that I should get on Etsy. At the moment, Andrea deals with our entire Etsy shop. I have never listed on Etsy. Um, but yeah, I keep saying I mean I should because a lot of my stuff qualifies because it's vintage 20 years plus is the uh, stipulation on Etsy uh, has to be vintage items but most of it or a lot of this at least would qualify but I, I still haven't got around to to getting on Etsy so Andrew deals with that but yes one Etsy sale today uh, that went for 15 plus the post um, yes, anyway, so I'm going to carry on packaging. Uh, I have already dropped off. There was a few bits that had to go out today. I did uh, a bunch of other stuff with that, dropped all of that off. The rest of it can go tomorrow, um, but I'm going to get everything uh, that we've sold packaged. So I'm kind of ahead of myself for tomorrow. And then I think it's going to be a bit of DIY or maybe some more drafting. I really need to get this uh, <laughs> coffee machine listed. It's going on as is. Um, it is in, well, it powers up. It makes lots of funky noises and stuff. But I've decided, I've made the decision. I'm not going to um, descale it and, and get it all set up and and check it's all working I'm going to sell it as seen I don't think it's worth the hassle but I just need to deal with it I've kind of got used to it sat here and it's become like part of the furniture oh this by the way is uh, a Depeche Mode record I picked up one for the collection that was brand new as in it had sat in the record store they they were selling off a stack of that which they'd had in a warehouse since 1985 or six, whenever that came out. So I've actually got a, a mint unplayed one now. So my copy of that, I will sell on. But anyway, this has become part of the furniture and I need to move it on before it just, yeah, never gets dealt with. So maybe I will draft that, who knows? Um, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure. I've got much more to share with you for today. So I hope that random waffly vlog of sorts was interesting. Um, if you are new here, my name is Nick and I sell stuff on the internet. Here is the stuff. Um, if you would like to uh, subscribe, it's completely free. I put out videos all the time about sourcing this stuff, listing this stuff and selling it for profit. 
and earning a living because believe it or not this is my job i will leave you with another one of my videos up here i'll find a video where we were out thrifting at a yard sale in london so take a look at this one see you later bye